What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here today. I am back with a little interesting information sent to me via a pal which suggests Bungie accidentally let drop the release date of the next DLC for Destiny 2 which for sure is sometime in May next month. Now I know although all of us are not hyped, we are looking forward to the effects that this DLC will have on the game. Most thinking it won't be enough to save the game, while others think, like me, that it could just spark that fire we had inside us, similar to what we had, and it burned for Destiny 1. That fire though might only last a few days. These are what we are all wondering. Will this DLC offer more than what we are used to from this game so far? We will see guys, we will see. Okay, so last week with the This Week at Bungie, the TWAB, while well, the English version was just another weekly update, but they lied something else within the French version which indicates when this May DLC will be coming, an exact date. Okay, so check this out on stream now. For those of you who can speak French, will clearly see it. You see 8 May. Let's translate this to English for those wondering. It states we are far from having reached the final version. Many changes are planned for Destiny 2. This is just another step. The next is scheduled for May 8th. Do not forget to consult your development roadmap and we will keep you informed of what awaits you. It is time for us to put more landmarks on the ever more distant horizons. So it states people the next is scheduled for May 8th. Now it has since been fixed from the French version of the TWAB. If we look now it states just May. So Bungie are sneaky as heck, but hey my pal wasn't the only one to spot this, many other French speaking peeps did too, there were a few talking about it on Twitter. Now May 8th, just over a month away, this is the exact date confirmed by a few leaks just under a month back. Leaks most people thought were fake leaks. We had them from a few separate sources stating basically the following about Destiny 2's next DLC and its release date. This one taken from Amazon, Destiny 2 expansion to the Fallen Warmind. Release date as you can see, May 8th. But the thing that was sus here was the name. Many people like myself believe it was something just made up by the person who faked these leaks. Although they weren't even proven fake, we just suspected it. The other supposed leak come from GameStop and this one had a description about this Fallen Warmind DLC and it also stated it was releasing on May 8th. So the description read, Destiny 2 expansion to the Fallen Warmind continues our Guardian's journey with all new story missions and adventures set in a new destination, Mars. Rasputin has mysteriously vanished and Annabelle has returned to the last city, warning of a dark uprising on Mars. Discover the conspiracy behind his disappearance, prevent the rise of a corrupted Warmind and uncover the truth behind the collapse. Explore Mars and the deep stone crypt beneath its surface. New story missions and adventures, new themed weapons, armor, and gear to earn, new cooperative activities, new competitive multiplayer arenas, and more. Now as legit as this leak kind of seems, we just can't say it is yet. The real interesting thing here is though, these leaks which dropped about a month back spoke of the exact same release date Bungie accidentally announced via their French weekly update. How is that? If the true release date is May 8th, surely whoever faked these leaks, if they were faked, had some kind of knowledge of this release date? So what's to say these other slices of info here ain't legit too? I mean it's about time we start seeing info being dropped. Info gets put out there by Bungie to promote this upcoming DLC. That info might not have been distributed to sources as normal yet, but it could have been, and that's where these leaks could have come from. But either way, it's around that time that it should be. I mean, surely it will be about a month before we start seeing advertisements of this DLC. That makes sense. Bungie will want to build hype. They will want to sell this DLC. So all I'm saying is, if the DLC date is May 8th, expect loads of info to start flowing out for sure, and expect a trailer soon too. Now we know May is going to be a big month for Destiny 2, whether this uh, DLC comes out on the 8th or the end of the month, it's still a big month for Destiny 2. The latest roadmap also tells of other changes coming along with the DLC expansion to Eater of Worlds Prestige Mode Raid, Seasonal Crucible Rankings, Private Matches, Vault Space Increase, Multi Emote, Exotic Masterworks, Seasonal Vendor Progression, Faction Rally Improvements, exotic weapon and armor sandbox changes and the possibility of heroic strike modifiers. So all of this with the recent 1.1.4 changes, the go faster update and this new DLC 
May should be a great month for Destiny 2. We now know they know what we want thanks to Cosmo. So they have the tools to build. Let's see what they can indeed build. But people that's all next month. What about this month? Well later today we get the weekly reset. With it comes a nightfall offering a new unique reward. We don't know what that nightfall is yet. But I will have you guys covered on my channel later when it does drop. We also see the return of Mayhem which I cannot wait for. It's going to be epic. I truly missed Mayhem with Destiny 2. Next week's weekly reset we should get Iron Banner 6v6. Which is again another thing I am super looking forward to. But yeah guys on that note I am out. Thanks as always for stopping by. If you enjoyed the video leaving a like really does help me out. Tell me what you think about this DLC and the release date Bungie accidentally let slip. Let me know your opinions down below within that comment section. But again, thanks for stopping by and hopefully people, I will see you on that next one. Always in the wrong, knowing where we stand, but you and I will carry on, we never get it right.